been in a heartbreak a couple of times, like any other human being. You only break you? You break you? Okay, you break you? Mimi. Uh, most of the time, me will break you. I usually fear... <laughs> ah, you're a yes person. <laughs> I usually fear one thing. Let me tell you one thing. I usually fear watching a girl crying. In high school, <laughs> yeah. I used to be called love doctor. It will be so unfortunate if I died and was buried with it. So I need to let go of it. Because I might run mad with all the knowledge. <laughs> you, know, you know, you speak like who? <laughs> Patrick Lumumba, I was looking for that name. Oh, thank you. Humble. In the words they shall <laughs> perish, they don't have wisdom. I quote and quote, where? Um, by, um, the way, by the way, um, 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 maybe suiting on a bigger expense. <laughs> Kizungu. I'm, I'm humbled. Ngoja, hii suit inatoka how much? Kama hii sasa nyumeva? Aha. A suit depends. First of all. Wajana depending. Waja. We are going step by step. I need to educate my people. Walafu sao niambia hii 10,000. Na nikuwa tano kusikia 3,5. What? 3,5? Inaza kuwa ni dollar. And I see Lee. And I see Lee in a school uniform. Ha ha ha. Offer, offer, offer. Early Christmas offer. A mouse properties limited. To kulete ya early Christmas offer, ya 10% discounts kwa ploti zetu za 50 by 100 to Maini Gardens. Mle makutano sagana. Bay ya ploti hizi, huwa ni shilingi 1150, lakini kwa niaba ya early Christmas offer, tumeshusha bay hii kwa kiwango cha 10%. To Maini Garden, ni mahali pazuri pa kufanya ujenzi wa nyumba, kufanya ukulima, na pia waweza jinya kulia ploti yako uyuze baadae. Kwa ploti hizi kuna nguvu za umeme pia zipo karibu na barabara na shule kama Kembri University pia bacons za ploti hizi zi wazi kabisa kwa habari zaidi tutembelee kwa ofisi zetu Jewel Complex mkabala na TRM Vika Road orofa ya 4 room 4 ufo pia waweza tupata kupitia 0701545421 au 0701 Netano, Sita Nane, Sufuri Mbili, Maus Properties. Unlock your future, invest with us. So, familia Ituge TV, VP, tunasoma comments zenyu, tunawangalia, tunasikiza, tunaona. And now people have been asking, apart from the Adoa Nyoba, who else do you have in stock for us? Tumezunguka, tumuataftia. Call me Steve Kekonyi. Ah... Presenter na sasa ni mindi niko hapa kwa nyumba leo na siko peke yangu na chomo na suti ni kato now if you are a lady <laughs> kaa pale usiondoke usibanduke keti hapo keti kitako manaka ile guy here ni wasiona mwana ah, ah, home and away <laughs> na another this kiongozi mm -hmm. baba yao ah. <laughs> suti kali thank you suti kali thank you Nimengangana kwa nyumba hii ndio ile koti nimetafuta kidogo tukutane. Umeweza. Nilikuwa najua wasichana wataniuliza mbona haumachi ukiongozi. Umeweza. Director niambia you still you handsome nikamwambia ngoja uone. The seed I'm bringing you today. Every woman. Every woman will cry na. Hey, thank you, thank eh, you. Thank you so much. Salimia watu hapa wana wamekuulizia sana uh -huh. tukasema leo you know doing the kikuyu versions. Yes. Bringing them this guy. He can do kizungu. Mm -hmm. He can do swahili. To pay introduction, jina yako. I love to endele. All right. Um, hi, guys. I go by the name Brian Martin Sogana. And uh, it's a pleasure being here with you, my wonderful people, and, you know, my wonderful fans. Mm. As I usually say, without you, they can never be me. And, yeah, uh, you probably know me as Louis. So, yeah, I'm in the building today. Or in the house. Ah, tuko inje. Usi watanga. Tuko inje. Eh, tumesema lo tupigo na kaupepo rasmi. Sawa, sawa. Yes. Ndakwachia isuti. Mwono umiangalia sana. Ujongozi mini mwono. Ujongozi mini mwono. Ujongozi mini mwono. 
so wait um, yes. so wale wanauliza wanajua kuna watu watajiuliza ni huyu ni yeye this guy tangu nimujue this is the first time nimemuona and he has never had any outfit ingine hata ni suti unaenda na suti kwa swimming wacha kwa kitchen kulala na lala suti Eh, wengi tunajua kipindi ya Maria. Maria ilikuja ikatesa, ikagonga, ikakuwa the talk of town. Yes. So how did you feel being a main character in the program? Um, first of all it was humbling. It was really humbling. I never saw it coming. It came and as they always say God's timing is usually everything. And we never knew Maria will become sensational how it became. So we usually say it's God's grace and God's favor because it came it blew people talked about it kids sang to Maria's tune yes so yeah it was a shocker to everyone until now sometimes uh, i usually say um, it's not me or it's not even the program because when you walk you know uh, in the streets and people call you louis you forget yeah, true. that it's you and then later on you come to the realization oh ah it's me and then you go ah hey hi how are you so it was sensational number one. and i say you know all on and glory goes back to god so you see maria wakati ilikuja that program everybody was waiting then you see citizen now how about shang when it come to advertisement ikaenda juu ikakuja chini wasanii wengine kama sisi wacha tuingize baridi Alafu unajua it is a program coming is it daily 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 daily, daily, daily. daily. so hiyo yes. time hiyo yes. commitment mm. sasa ndio yeye imekuja umeingia kwa main cast alafu wewe sasa kwa ile familia ya dosi yeah. how is that for me um, i took it upon as a challenge i think in my in my acting career uh, the character louis as itself mm. was one of the craziest uh, roles i ever played because um, Louis as a person had so many traits, you know. At one point, he was depressed, mm. he was a mama's boy, uh, he was super aggressive, he ran mad at one point. And ca you can imagine one person combining all these characters and executing. So it was really challenging. And um, the best part of it is, you know, I took it upon myself and consultation with mm. my director, with my fellow colleagues, actors, it, 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 it was a roller coaster. Uh, there was one time I had to lose weight just to fit in in a role. The time when I was depressed, when Maria was allegedly mm -hmm. dead, I had to lose weight for me to be in that, you know. Uh, yes, role. yes. So it's, it's, it has been crazy. Sometimes uh, if as actors, people don't know this, but as actors, uh, you need time to de-roll. Because oh. if you stick with that character, you might even run mad. So whenever you do a role to its level best, and if it's gotten into you, you need time out for you mm. to de-roll it and be, you know, at ease and come back to your normal self. True. Yeah. People say, and with my bi buddies, to yes. Maga, there is a very thin line between acting mm -hmm. and real life. Yes. Wajua nilikuwa nangalia koyo kipindi, kuna ile nyumba ya kibazu, ni Runda? Yes. There was Runda and Karen. Ona, hinapeleka ona suti. Hakuna mali unakaja maroro hiru, Runda, Karen. Me, there is one thing I used to look cooking here, koyo acting. Yes. There was this brown lady, anito nani? Uh, who? My, my wife? Yeah. There was Sophia, there was my girlfriend, Brenda. Your girlfriend? Yes. There's a time we'll go and talk here too, then you turn. Uh -huh. Then you know there is, kama kuna acting gumu ni acting in silence. Yes. You have to look at something, yes. unaangalia too, then people can read your face. Yes. Oh God, you, hapo uliku na uwa. Thank you. Mutesi. <laughs> Thank you. So, from this kipindi Maria, yes. mimi hapo ndi watu wengi wame kujua, mm. hapo ndi watu wame kufa na wewe, mm -hmm. watu wame tambua suti, yes. watu wame tambua luku. So, was that your mind-blowing project? Ama kuna zingine ambazo likona julikana zile? People might not know. Um, I've done so many projects. Um, if, if for my fans, mm. those who do not know, um, at one point we used to have programs like Wash and Set, Changing Times, uh, Mwishimiwa, Guy Center. So I've done so many projects and at one point in my early heydays, I used to be also a news anchor. 
So I've done so much. Ulikuwa news anchor wapi? Oh yes, at GBS I was a news anchor. GPS. Yes. There was Kevin Oloch. You know him? Kevin Oloch, a best friend of mine, a we, good friend. We came for an audition pale na jamaa yangu anaitwa Amete. Eh eh. Wewe tulianguka. When the, there was a thing called gag battle. Gag battle. Yes. We came. Yes. Yes. Pale nyuma ya safari park. Oh, yes. Ona wewe kila kitu yako ni kibazo. Oh. <laughs> Mali ulifanya ni safari park five star. <laughs> Kipindi Karen Runda. Eh. Mambo ya god, mambo ya god. So we came for gag battle. Mhm. Then later, ni mekukumbuka. Yes. Kevin Oloch used to host with another young lady. Yep. Uh, then he used to she have was called ah. Winnie Adista. Hey. Yes. Ah, singe shika hizo majina juole, kata kazi tukakosa. Sikuwa na shika hizo majina, wajwa kila kiwaru. Oh, yes, yes. So, okay. Yes. Wow. So, yeah, we, we came from far. Uh, so, for me, I've done even uh, international documentary, international projects. I'm a voice artist. I've done a voiceover for Kiwi. I've done so many things. Hebu fanya voice moja? Uh, what do you want me to say? Ah, uh, sema. Mimi na Steve Kigonyi. He's going to Cairo soon. Mm-hmm. Watch that space. All right. <clears throat> uh, yes, alafu uh, fully sponsored by Itoki Television. All right. Um in a world where no man is an island, Steve Kigonyi will be going to Thailand and this program courtesy of Duko News. Ah. <laughs> Zizangu ni zaingine za kisapere unasikia kabego da 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 eh mpaka mafuta mafuta eh yani mafuta kumondo na kwa hizo ndio zangu na kwa mnoma kuna zile ala so i've done i've done so many things and, and viewers uh, have a lot of money because nobody can see the face they do you can you don't see the face and um, good thing about voiceover is they keep on coming then it's short time short, short time. studio time oh yes man yes. on the box oh yes oh, wow yes. so yeah i've done so many things but uh, mm-hmm. i think maria maria is the one project that blew up everything came up yes you know maggi maggi is a good friend of mine maggi is my young kid in acting man ah nice What did you say? Ya kwa mguu hii ni side effects. Eh ni nilimuona nilimuona nikamwita kwa kipindi hii pale inaitwa Uriro wa Wedo. Uriro wa Wedo yes. She's my girlfriend at the side. Eh kabla ingia alinisumbua you know she's pretty naturally. Yes. Well made. Yes. So ananiambia na kuja audition hakakuji kana zima simu nikakambia nimekuona hakakuja tena. Do you know she used to praise you yes. until I, I could see when I've never seen you. Ananiambia oh. mazee unafaa ujue jamaa jioni mtu wa events suti kiatu socks okay. sawa nimeona socks umemachisha na nini lapel eh, kuna mkorino alikuwa hapa katuambia kilemba na machisha na kiatu so nimeona uko na ka mkorino fulani <laughs> hmm? alituambia there is something that has to go with the kilemba yes. so maria ikakuja ikakuweka pale so what happened to you vile ulisikia maria iko na one month iishe another program is coming what went through your mind um, as an actor as an actor number one, uh, any good thing at one point it will come to an end so you have to prepare yourself psychologically because i usually say um if something is too good mm-hmm. people at one point will get too familiar with it and then the goodness will no longer be there so i had to prepare myself like at one point this good thing will come to an end yeah so if it comes to an end what next does it mean my life stops or i continue with my life So you have to prepare yourself. Any project you touch, always know there will always be an end towards it. That's very important because most artists, I'm sorry to say this, usually assume mm-hmm. any project I touch, it will never come to an end. It will come to an end at one point because you know, we're living in a very creative space and every day people are coming with new things new ideas brilliant scripts content is mutating content is mutating mm. so you have to know it will come to an end and don't for me I usually say don't overstay do your good hit it with a punch exit let people talk and remember you because until now <laughs> if you as a person uh, growing up we used to have a program called tausi Tausi until today Nde, we yeah, talk man. about Tausi why wow it was a good program it was well executed it came with a punch yes and it exited the legs of the bold and the beautiful yes 
Ding, bang. Ding, 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 ding. Boys, young and restless. Yeah. So yeah. So do your bang, exit. Let people long. Like, oh, when are these people coming back? When is it coming back? We need them. We need them. We need them. Like if we, it comes, yes, well really. and good. To really pay like what yes. Pindi. Yes. So uh, did this program have a personal impact? Did you get endorsements? Mm -hmm. What were you after after mm -hmm. Of course, people were saying, ah, you na ringa na suti atatoa bado unava. Did you get uh, personal achievements? So many, mm -hmm. so many, so many. What people don't know is Brian Martins Ogana mm -hmm. is a suit guy, and thanks to my mom. I've always, I started wearing suits when I was very little, by the age of three, four, I was wearing suits. So suits are not going away anywhere. And for me, um, let me say this, I dress myself because I'm so particular into details and I own up to my own style. And um, I usually see like my style makes me who I am. Yeah. And. Uh, people will be able to relate to me with my style. So I come up with my own style and run with it so that no one else will come and copy my style and execute it. I make it my own. So suits have always been me. Coming back to the question of endorsement. Oh yes, I've had so many endorsements. So many. I, wow. I won't lie to you. And uh, oof, it's, it's, it's a blessing. You know, that from your craft, you get to eat mm. from your own craft. It's, it's amazing because people relate to you. Mm. Yeah? And uh, depending on the brand you've packaged yourself into. Like for me, I'm a family brand. Yeah? Mm. I'm a family mm. brand whereby I will do products from uh, land, uh, can do soap, soap. Yes, I'm Can a family brand. So anything that relates with the family, I'm there. You'll see me there. I've done gigs. So yeah, endorsements, yeah, they, they, they came. They came so many. And uh, <laughs> the other day I was even laughing. I was like, wow. So now they are chasing me. Like the, the, the endorsements are now chasing me. What? It's now for me to see and decide what am I dealing with and what am I not dealing with. Let me ask you, yes. what, what is your red card? Vilona Fukuzo and Kumanisha, you must have a red card. Vilona oh, yes, Pika Luku. Yes, yes, yes. <laughs> Knowing that uh, you're, you're a mentor to a kid, yes. to a dad, yes. to a mom, is mm -hmm. so mm -hmm. roughly what is your red card? Do you know how you have a business? Oh, I know, I know, I know. Yeah. For me, my red card usually depends on a company. Because oh, you can never, I usually say, not all companies are the same. So, number one. You can have a startup. You will never probably, you know, charge a startup the mm. same way you want to charge maybe uh, a company, a well-known company, let's yeah. say like Safaricom, Airtel, or whatever. Those who have been in the yes. game. Yeah, so, so it depends. Your rate cut usually depends on the, uh, probably on, on, on the company that comes on board. But one thing I usually say, um, I'm always open-minded. And uh, thanks to my manager, who you know usually sees and sees way through. Because me, <laughs> me umani, I'm, a, I'm a yes umani, man. Many point to that means your manager. Where? Ebu ataza kuni kopa. Ebu. My manager usually makes my life easy because I'm, I'm a yes person. Uh, you can easily convince me, and uh, sometimes I, I look at you and I have the wishy hat, and I'm like, okay, wow. let's do it. But my manager keeps me check, keeps me in line, and she sees everything, and you know, makes my life pretty easy. Yeah. Hey, okay. What's your question? China, Lou. What's your name? Ghana. Yes. Ghana is. You may say People say it Ghana. People say Ghana. Ogana. So, <laughs> whatever so, makes you comfortable. What does Ogana do? Where is Nani? Tuatena Lui, Tuatena Zuma Jina Zavipindi. Yes. What do you do? Ogana is uh, a computer engineer by profession. Wah! A communication strategist, cinematographer, writer, editor, image consultant, fashion enthusiast. Lava boy. <laughs> ah, no, 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 no. <laughs> I'm not a lava boy. <laughs> A proud father. Eh. Uh, what else? Yeah, anything relating to uh, uh, the the social space of uh, content development. 
this is your guy. Above all, I think right now um, I'm more passionate about you know communication strategy as a whole. That entails you know consulting on communication uh, in terms of a company once has an event mm -hmm. and they don't know how they can easily generate traffic to them. So we develop content for them, package oh. it, and you know push it. You for make them. life easy. Oh yes, yes, ah. yes, yes. That's a Ghana. You need communication strategist. Yes, I'm a communication strategist. Mutu akilemeo kuongea na girlfriend unaweza msaidia kuunda kanu. Eh, tunaweza 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 craft message haraka haraka kwa mehe. Si to 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 get love. To pay send this message from Oganda <laughs> yeah, to Kofo. <laughs> In high school <laughs> yeah. I used to be called love doctor. We kulikuwa na doctor love kwa kids ndio? Yes. <laughs> I used to be the love doctor. Nilikuwa najua tutaelekea hapo. Cause the high school I was a lot of people <laughs> never knew the basic fundamentals of letter writing. You know, those days we used to do letters. Mm. Nowadays it's just SMS and order or whatever. So I used to write for people letters they sent to their girlfriends. Oh I used my. to charge. Nazile the dicks. Oh, oh yes, I used to charge. But then, um, I used to charge what? 15 bob per, per letter. Na yo shule nyiliko natuwa ngabe? Ish, over 1,200. So you mingi kuliko bazaar yote? Oh yes, oh yes, oh yes. Oh yes, I used to flow in money. <laughs> so English So dedication to music. Westlife. Most most of the time <laughs> West best life. songs were Westlife songs. Three T or something. Three T. Three T. Two Face Two Face not yet. Westlife. Not yet. Westlife was the in thing and sing three T. Who else? Who else? Kina Shaggy Jarul. Eh? Ashaggy came, Nini. Kina Cisco. Cisco. Yes, yes. Cisco. And uh, my grower, uh, Samido. I'm a bad old coon. 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 Now, Mefanyo Mambote, so engineering will end a shule. Yes, I did. So, we saw me up in high school, primary, uh, uh, primary, primary. I started by going to a school called Park Road Primary, then I transferred. Park Road, you know, is, Park Road is in uh, where is Park Road? It's in Park Road, actually. Uh -huh. Yes, then transferred, went to Jujarun uh, Primary, that's where I finished. Then, uh, I uh, before <coughs> I used to nini. Uh, transfer a lot. So when I finished Juja Road, I went, what's, what many people don't know is, at one point, I wanted to be a priest. <laughs> yes. So I went, I went to a seminary mm. uh, in Nisiolo called Sacred Art of Jesus Minor Seminary. All right. Uh, I okay, did, Nisiolo. Yes. I did one term and then I quit. And the reason why I quit is uh, this funky uh, choir drama festivals. Ngoja hiyo ta moja ulikuwa unasomea kitu inaitwa? Me I did it. Yeah, I was in a seminary actually. Where? I was in a seminary. Sacred Art of Jesus Minor Seminary. And uh, I, I I really wanted to, to be a priest. I kid you not. I served because my life have always been a church person. So uh, I served under the patronage of uh, the late Cardinal Otunga, the late Ndinge Mwana Nzeki. Nzeki. Yeah, so I was a staunch Christian. And I really wanted, and I admired how they carried themselves and how, you know, they did all that. So yeah, I was so focused in being a priest. So that one time, uh, this uh, Fankies, uh, I met a girl. And oh. uh, she's the one who <laughs> changed oh, all the dynamics. And me and my priest, the priest. Ah! <laughs> went away so i came back talked to my parents they were super mad and then yeah i had to transfer and that's when i went to saint ignatius mkumu boys and that's where i completed uh, my high school i joined campus that is the university of nairobi the campus is oh yeah there in africa yeah 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 that's where not just there eh? the. Uh, oh, the. 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 the the shall not say the the Yes. 
So the University I, of Nairobi. Yes. So I did my computer engineering. I, did, I, did. I finished. In fact, I wanted to do computer science. Then I changed it. So I did engineering, finished, uh, worked for one year, and uh, I was like, there's something I miss somewhere. Mm. I'm not feeling this vibe anymore. Uh, changed careers, went into journalism, did a short course in, in uh, journalism, finished, and the rest is history. But acting was always part of me. So let me ask you, because me, I was discovered by my cousin, mm -hmm. na a lecturer in Ligo KU, when you see Kuwa in Maliza, in Maliza, in Maliza, in Oh, yes, oh, yes. Your life begins at 40. Oh, yes, oh, yes. And education never comes to an end. See? Yes. So, uh, me was discovered by my cousin. I wanted to do something to do with medicine because mm -hmm. I was very good in sciences. Yes. I mean, like, you were financially handicapped yes. at some point. Mm -hmm. So, I was discovered by a lecturer. This is art. Then, a cousin can watch out. That's how I rolled in. So, who discovered you? Let me tell you. Uh, funny thing is, my father. Oh. My father is good in literature. Oh, my dad is good in literature. So my father used to have these big encyclopedias and this play by Shakespeare. Merchant of Venice, Romeo and Juliet, uh, Caesar, you name it. He had all those books. So my father planted a seed in me, the culture of reading, mm. literature. Oh. At such a tender age. So I used to read a lot of uh, the plays and the literature books. And I grew an interest and a passion with it. Uh, and that's now when, you know, the acting came. Because mm -hmm. he used to recite uh, Julius Caesar uh, with passion. And I was like, wow, this looks really awesome. So I used to imitate that. I try, thou, thee, this like me note of my complexion, the shadow livery Where? of my banished son to whom I'm a neighbor. So I used to imitate all that, and it, it grew in me, and I loved it. So my dad planted that seed. And ever since then, it always has always been with me. So each and every time, you know, acting as Jesus, as a sheep, a goat. Oh, yes, oh, yes, oh, yes. Oh, yes, oh, yes, oh, yes, oh, yes. Oh, yes, oh, yes, oh, yes. Oh, yes. I've done all that. Katasi of your father. Katasi of my dad. Buddha and Shiwapi. He's in Nairobi. Ah, my family is in Nairobi. I say hi to your father, Dad, man. This is your son. I know you're proud of me. He's <laughs> killing it. Some of us are mother. Mom, you're coming later. Mom, you're coming to Dad, you're killing it. Oh, no, I'm not going to kill it. He's asking for Dad, you're suiting this conversation. <laughs> wow. So, yeah, uh, he's the one who planted the seed of acting. Yeah, and I'm always grateful. Uh, to him, uh, you know, for you know, planting the seed, and my mom. Ooh, my mom is something else. My mom now is the person who made me fall in love with suits. Nikulize, mama alikuwa na kuchapa ukiva tungo to jinga. Kichapo kile kichapo cha you have to. I had to be neat. I had to be neat. My mom used to tell me, as a gentleman, you always carry a handkerchief. Always carry a handkerchief. So you can imagine at such a tender age growing up with that. Yeah. So my mom, handkerchief. Yes, you have to have a handkerchief. And I never really understood the reason why, until later on in life, the reason why I used to carry a handkerchief. And she, she, she jokingly said, you know, a handkerchief comes handy. It's not just for you, but a handkerchief is for the lady you are with. Yeah, because ladies are usually cautious. Sometimes things happen and they need probably to wipe their face, their hands or whatever. So you give them the handkerchief. I was like, oh, okay. So my mom, style, I salute her. I salute her again in terms of uh, making me uh, know uh, the importance of articulation and proper, you know, um, English, both written and oral. Okay, you have a family. Yes. Who is your type of a girl? Dem, dem, dem you what do you look you. for in a girl? In a what, I, what, what I look for in a lady is someone who will challenge me intellectually. 
so you are super sexual Uf, it's unajua unaweza pata mtu unaona lakini hapa kidogo unaweza import let me tell you let me tell you one thing the 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 the, the, the biggest mistake we men get ourselves into is you need to travel to the future and see how your future will be uh-huh. reason being is you need a lady who will be intellectually fit for your kids because the kids you bring out of the society really matter all right size ya mguni ya baba lakini akili ni ya mama so you ha- it has to it has to you know because an intellectual lady will always be proper to like my kids need to be this this and what to view but people are different people look uh, for people in different ways the we, we usually say men are visual beings what we see mm, exactly is what we want so it depends it depends for me uh, the mind is everything organa yes that was organa speaking not louis no 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 that was organa speaking that was the man himself yes zidadi <laughs> wadzako ziko na pawa mpaka hata mtu aweze kuongea in between so let me ask you yes. when we are describing ladies ni ni you are sticking to this woman who has traveled to the future addicted to that future mm-hmm. in life mkutana na mambo ambayo zilikuporomosha so you had to restart again or is it out of experience uh, for, for me what i can say is um, two things every man every man is usually triggered by the mom yeah you want a lady who almost resembles your mother mm-hmm. cuz you know that's mm-hmm. the first love you encountered on planet earth so any woman or lady that you out there searching has to somehow resemble or have at least traits compared to your mother another thing for me uh, i can say again through you know experience and through exposure yeah that's how now you get you know the basic fundamentals of you know uh how to go about what not to look for what what you need you know as a person and uh, for that particular family to be complete what you're looking for so for me it's usually a mash up of those two things that you know made me be like you know what what makes me you know get more fascinated by a lady if i want a serious relationship with is the intellectual aspect of it so yes wow in case you didn't know google saposexual <laughs> saposexual sindio yo hizi ni mari sasa nafanya chini ya maji na sijali tunia sana isikia na wewe saposexual is addicted or falling in love with the brain of a woman the other ways you naitago aje so what you need is louis sasa umejipata kwa hizo majina life has been so good it doesn't seem like umepitia kwa mtu wa mtaro god has been fair to you so good, um, good. not really um every 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 story there is a background towards it and um i usually say in order for you to be complete you have to go through different encounters that's what really determines the kind of mortal you'll be at the end of it so for me like any ordinary human being i've gone through all these tribulations and all that someone will be like hey this guy is polished seems like aliamuka toka jipata hivyo kwa suti and life was shoof no 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 oof i've gone through things in life like any ordinary human being uh you will say i have you ever encountered heartbreak i have been in a heartbreak couple of times like any other human being yo le break yo le break yana au kai ku break yana mimi eh most of the time me will break you i usually fear <laughs> you're a yes person <laughs> i usually fear one thing let me tell you one thing i usually fear watching a girl crying it really hurts me so <laughs> being the one initiating uh, is usually a problem so I'm like mm, <laughs> i will not do it so yes so yeah I've seen it uh, have I been broke oh a couple of times you be broke uh, you go back repackage yourself sail through so yeah like any other ordinary human being I've been there uh, that is part of life it makes us 
as you know human beings and we get to adapt through those experiences say knowledge yote hii package yote unajiwekea kama do you sometimes sit down and say well i'm going to give back to the community because many people mm-hmm. when you call lime light yes. we forget yes umekuwa umekuwa then unapelekea mambo yote home mama hata unajitanganya so do you give back to the community what you and you I do. I do i do i usually say the knowledge the wisdom that come with it it will be so unfortunate if i died and was buried with it so i need to let go of it because i might run mad with all the knowledge <laughs> 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 you know you speak like who <laughs> patrick lumumba was looking for that name oh thank you Humble. in the world they shall perish they don't have wisdom i quote and quote where <laughs> by the way by the karibu mfana maybe suti ndo unapiga expense kizungu i'm humbled i wow. sh- i usually, I usually uh, give back um, i i have a program whereby oh, program? yeah i have a program okay. whereby i tour high schools it's more of a mentorship program and uh, i'm usually passionate about the boy child you know? mm. i try as much as possible you know to train that boy child because this this is the unfortunate bit of it the boy has be forgot has has been forgotten and it's a lost species all right and uh, we, we 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 are living in a generation whereby the boy as a person feels threatened by the girl yeah because the girl has been empowered mm. yeah and the boy has not been empowered so the boy feel that this species is a threat to me they have been forgotten they have been They're forgotten here. and this is a threat mm. but for me is like you know what there's no harm for the girl to be empowered you as a boy you need to level up so that you complement one another such that when this girl is empowered and you are out there you can complement one another it doesn't have to be like you know uh, she's more empowered so i should be more afraid of this particular species no we should not be afraid of the species so i have a program whereby i take the boy child on the basic fundamentals and packaging them because it's all about you know the mind and for me it's uh, i usually say you know who are you who is dragging you because we are always our own end to our downfall so it goes back to the basics and yeah i empower them i impact them i try to bring them back to factory settings and uh, yes uh it's 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 a continuous process and i hope one day you know i'll get you know more people on board and uh you know try as much as possible to reach out and empower you know uh the boy and that, it does not mean i also don't talk about the girl mm-hmm. i also talk about to the i talk to the girls as well uh because you know the knowledge knowledge is everything knowledge and is power yeah knowledge is power you equip them with the knowledge and who knows it's a generation in the making and it revamps so yeah wow i never knew about that program yes next one utanibeba sure we go we talk sure. to them sure i mean sure. nakuwa nimesign na madem kidogo mm. lakini oh, okay. yeah, yeah, <laughs> maboy kidogo maboy maboy ni kujikaza maboy ni kujikaza eh utujue mali unatoa nika kidogo niingie kai yole kidogo ni kutoa suit na kinya let me ask you is this suit unatoa gawapi Ah, ni kukomboa si, si. ni kuomba ni za Buddha boss. Ne, 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 ne. These oh, are my suits. What do you mean they are your suits? These are my suits. I own a sartorial suit shop. A <laughs> what? Okay, on sartorial ne do. On a, on a layman's language. I own a suit shop. A suit. Eh, what I mean ni what ni lay hizo man's language kwa eh sartorial. Ai. <laughs> what did you call it? Sartorial. Ah uh, so for what we nyanza wana for hiyo lugha yako. Sartorian. Hii kitu ina hii host hii kitu. Isiki lango nje watu wako na cash. It's a called a Sartorian. Sartorial. Sartorial. Sartorial piece. Ni kitu kama sasa Henry's. Yes, it's like Sir Henry's. So Sartorial is just it's just uh, playing a word with words. So where is your shop located? When you unashona ama umeemploy watu? Funny thing is I can as well stitch you. Yeah. Cuz you see, <laughs> listen. I own my style. And there's a certain way 
I love my pieces to look like. All right. So you see, like your blazer. Yeah. Yeah. Thanks. Yes. Uh, Thanks God. This this is a tennis collar uh, blazer. Tennis. Yes. This is a tennis. Tennis the game. Tennis. Yes. Yeah. Tennis the game. Uh, yeah. Tennis collar because of the cut. Yeah, con the pool, Mine. In the pool table. No. <laughs> This is a pointed collar piece. Yeah. Oh. Get the difference. Pointed. Yours, oh, yours yeah, yeah, has yeah, entered in. Mine is pointed out. All right. So mine is painted and the lapel is kind of big compared to your lapel. Mm. And me, I love pieces with double cut. Yeah. So I combine that. So when, when I probably say like when I'm, I'm buttoning my blazer, you'll have the flaps out. So that's an American so cut. Is this under my flap, sasa? Yes. So when I close it, the flap is out. So it's a, an American cut. So I combine all those factors and I put it in my suits. There's a specific way I would love my pieces to look. So I had to train myself on how I want them to look. And that's how now I came, you know, uh, with uh, my sartorial shop, whereby when I have the time, I do that. But again, you need people, you know, if you're not manpower, around, right? you need yeah. that manpower for it to be continuous. So you train them again uh, to make the specific cut. So all wow. my pieces have a specific cut. Because for me, the idea is you need to be in a piece whereby you feel like this is my own. I haven't borrowed it. It's my own. It's like um, if you are familiar... Uh, with the ancient times, the Roman times, there was that gladiator face mm. on the Greece, how they put on their body armor, their shields, and what a view. So whenever you are wearing your piece, you feel like this is a gladiator armor. I mean, the gladiator armor, it's my own, I own it. So that's the reason why, you know, the piece have to complement you as a person, and you feel like I've owned it. Hey, bro, I'm watering down that conversation. <laughs> Wajua unaongelea suti unaijua nikawa sasa mimi nakabroka nakabroka wa mashamba. Do mimi kuichukua kuwekelea tugonge get together. Do the taxi kigoni wa shosho. So nikulize. Yes. So when you have ukivai suti unaanza na kiatu ama when you see your tie you see your suit. For me it's about the tie. Cuz I heard that from a, an engineer friend well, of course tena unasikia ni engineer. Mm -hmm. Sami na kabroka. Mm -hmm. So akaniambia there is a style where ukichukua suti kuna kitu sijui unaanza nayo. You look at the lapel that is it. Anajua ile kitu atavaa. For me it's the tie. The tie the tie will tell me what suit I'm wearing today. So issue pia kwa pia unaozaga ama ni zako tu. I custom made from scratch. So do you sell them ama unataka yeah, tu I do, I do, I do. wewe? I do. I think uh, right now what what really happened is um, when covid came a lot of things wire slow yeah yeah so we had to recess because i was planning on you know blowing it and making it big but covid came and i was like you know what uh doing this move it will be tricky for now character development so yes <laughs> let's just take that humble pie for now and wait and see because it's all about timing yeah yeah but now since now the economy has been opened up now I've gone back again. So it's all about, again, strategy. So I'm now weighing and seeing how, because it was just opened recently. So uh, we have like two months to assess the situation, how it is. Yeah. So depending on how the situation will be, now that's when we will, you know, do the entire rollout program now oh. and start producing in masses now. Because I know yeah. our fans, uh, we have even diaspora fans. Yes. We have fans from Africa, uh, Pandola, America. Mm. UK, mm -hmm. here in Kenya. Mm -hmm. I know many of them will want to know where they to locate you. Oh, yes. oh, yes. for corporate meeting. They oh, need yes. a suit oh, from yes. one he. Mm -hmm. I want to know. a shipping tax pile. Yes. Let me talk to my oh, boy. I do, I do, I do. Uh, it's not it's just that I don't do in large Bulk, oh. yes, quantity. But I do. I do. Feel free, you know. If you follow me on my socials, feel free. You can always come to an arrangement and something will be made for you. Louis, what are you doing? Where do you say that you are going to for? Do you even respond to, to your DMs? I feel maybe you don't. I do. I do. So, I give... hi, how can I get you? I'll do anything to just meet you. Let me tell you. 
Now this this is one thing I I I, I usually tell people because <laughs> sometimes the, the the DMs can be crazy, very crazy, crazy. So I have a specific, I have two specific days, uh, that is Tuesdays and Fridays. Wow. Whereby I have to go uh, to my DMs and just try and filter and see. Yeah. So I try my level best to, you know, reply. God, you come back and ask you, uh, could you embark? Because it's crazy. Because <laughs> yeah. it's crazy. Sometimes you know this how, man is organized, man. Because you, you know, sometimes you, 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 your schedule can be tricky, and sometimes you do a lot of things, so it can slip your mind. But again, you you need to, because it's all about discipline. You need to remember one thing. I usually say for me, my fans are kings and queens. So I also have, you know to you know recognize them and i have also to give you know my time to them and just listen and get their views what are they mm. saying you know so it's only through that that's that is the only time i'll get the chance to interact with them yeah i respond i talk to them and just get a feel of okay uh -huh, what are you thinking uh -huh. so yes that's how you know i get to so at times i do i do that but what what i know is um, when uh, I go through my DM mm. and I see a high, chances of me opening it is very slim. Yeah. It's very slim. But the direct I go full board and reply. So, yes. Goja, is suit in a how much? Kama isa senyo meva? Uh huh. A suit depends. First of all, we are going step by step. I need to educate my people. I love sound you have 8,000. I'm going to go to the What? 3 5? Let me tell you one thing. You need to know to understand one thing. Any good suit, you have to check on the fabric. Fabric. Yes. Yo, sisi watu wale manalagu zuma sama material. Material. Yeah, ka material ka yes. Kuwe. So you need to check on a fabric. A suit, a good suit, will range between ten thousand all the way, because you can even get a suit for fifty-five thousand. Nili simami ya rusingi na jama milione na suit ya three thousand nine hundred. Three thousand nine hundred. Nali kongeza washati. Wewe. Eh. Eh. You ma you suit il talk about. Let me tell you one thing. Um, this is the thing. You can wear the 3,500 suit, 2,999 suit, no problem. But um, for me, I usually say image is everything. Mm. Image is everything. Like I said, my suits are sartorial gladiator suits. A suit that you put on and you feel like, yes, I'm in a suit. Okay? A suit whereby you walk and you'll not see every person in that <laughs> suit all right so image is everything yeah i'm not saying that um the 3599 is not a suit it is a suit it is a suit yeah because again pockets are different all right it depends on you know where you stretch yourself all right but if you know yourself and you know the brand you carry with you. That's everything. Because mm -hmm. again, for, 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 for hours, is brand. <laughs> yes, brand. The brand you carry. So, for this one, the fabric, for material. this fabric, for this fabric, uh, no, 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 this is called a pocket watch. I need to ed educate you, yeah? <laughs> Guy, this is called a pocket watch. Are you from Nyanza? No, 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 no. I'm not. <laughs> Goja, what is your home language? <laughs> Kenyan. K Kenyan, by bus, I'm a by bus. I'm Kenyan. <laughs> I'm Kenyan. <laughs> I'm Kenyan. <laughs> this is a pocket watch. Uh -huh. like, like I told you, I, I love the mannerism of the British. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So, this is a pocket watch. <laughs> yeah. 
someone will be like, why, 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 why are you walking with two watches? So in our kamai. Yeah, yeah. It works the same. So that's what I'm saying. Someone will be like, why, 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 you, why are you walking with two watches? I shall say, one is for utility purposes and one is just a statement. A statement. Yes. So this is a statement, but it's functioning. If my camera person can camera zoom person in. Can zoom to an, in it's, functioning. Greenwich Meridian app. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> it's functioning. So someone will be like, so it's a pocket watch. Yes. So yeah. <laughs> hmm? So you are saying that you are not going to a So how much is this suit? I'm, so for my suit, uh, this for this complete suit, this goes for 13k. 13k. Yes. Na kama ni mpesa niye kama kaya kutoa. Uh, yeah. 13,000. Yes. Branding. Wow. So, unaza kombosha mtu. Nikona event. Mm -hmm. Nime it show look una si, si. Nikiangalevi mtu wakona look wana kakitu inaza kuwa nimi. Nataka nika 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 kakitu bro. Ukona nini? Kutangale tu height na? Eh? Na kiuno? Eh, ni yale tu ni tese. Tunajua wateseke waniambie, we, you, are, you cannot be fired. When do you fire yenyele? Lakini kijua tu lejama napigia, ni kotu kwa kizungu. Hi bro. I need. Ni pange next week tena. Hmm? That inda huyo ni renti yangu. Sani, unless ni ingie kwangu kani kwa uti. <laughs> hey. Why? That's why I said branding. Branding. Yeah. Very important. Don't, don't, Very important. don't go and, you know, <laughs> break a bank for you. Just know where, 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 where you can reach. So if you have a budget, you can pay your budget to carry with twenty-five thousand. Branding, let's, I get it. Let's say that yes. Now watch. Yeah. Let's say that. Wa kabla tu malizi ni kulize. I realized kwa pale kwa parking tu kwa gari. You don't have a lot of interviews. I will pay this and I will go easy my line. Like why is that? Uh, number one, um, I usually love my space. Uh, number two is uh, a lot of. Uh, the outlets, I usually term them as gutter press. Gutter press, yeah. Uh, reason is, um, for them it's all about what's trending. And uh, for me, I I'm not here to trend. For me it's all about what valuable lessons will you pick and run with it. For me it's all about impacting someone's life. Yeah. Uh, if you base your life about trending and keeping on trend, you will not sustain yourself for long. Yeah? I usually say that's a seasonal being. And for me, why I usually shun away from interviews is most of the sources usually love going back to your life. All right? And for me, it's not about your past. Because there's nothing you can do about your past. Mm. We grow every day. Uh, we are young beings. We grow. As a young person, you're not supposed to be perfect. You do silly, stupid mistakes. Yeah? But the most important thing is, have you learned something from your past? That's the most important thing. Yeah. But for them, it's always about going back to your past, digging the past, all right? My past is done. Forget about it. I learned about my past. I rectified about my past. Let's move on. I'm not concentrating on my future. Let's focus on my future. Remember, I got a press mm. Mm -mm. If you don't want to talk about my Where future. Where we are tomorrow. And for me, most of the time is like, what values? If I'm doing an interview, what are the values? What is the bedrock of this interview? All right. Are you doing it for attention? Are you doing it to gain recognition? Are you doing it to trend? Are you informing people? Are you impacting lives? Are you changing lives? If it falls on changing and impacting lives, I will do it. If not, I'm not your Let me ask guy. You.
Let me ask you, if today things happen, because unongia kama mtu amesoma, so body who is focused, and that is who you are. If you are given a day to become the president, what would you want to change? Um, how would you want to see things as a youth? Because I, I think you, you have an answer for everything in a nice way. So if you are in, on the seat of that president, what would you want to see changed? Well, first of all, those are very huge shoes. But if, because this is the thing, um, I don't know. But uh, from my mouth to God's ears, mm -hmm. I plan on being, you know, one day, the government spokesperson. One day. Wow. That's, that's what I want to be. But if, you know, God works in mysterious ways. If I become a president, number one, the most fundamental thing I will do is go back to where it all began. Factory settings, the mind. The mind is a very powerful tool. For me, principle number one will be we empty our minds. Just like this class. Yeah? You see, it has water. Mm. All right? And for me, it's, it's just a basic principle. Like, the more you feel it, yeah? In a the more, bodo. Yes. The more you feel it, it becomes full. Mm. The more you continue, it pours, right? Mm. So the more it pours, you can no longer put in water. So for me, it will be very simple. Empty. Empty the whole thing. Let it have nothing. Start again. Start afresh. Empty your mind. For me, that will be the basic principle. And it has to be a policy. Each and every one, empty their minds. So that now we start a fresh. You guy, my guy. Eh? <laughs> you got mambos. <laughs> Thank you. Let me ask you, what yes. is in your to-do list? Do you love traveling, reading, ama in your oh, to-do yes. list? What's, what do you do in your what are your hobbies? I love reading. I, I read a lot. I read a lot. Nani, I guess. I read a lot. I love reading. I'm a philosopher. I am an avid reader. Oh, I read a lot. In a month. At least two books. At least two books in a month. I read a lot. I love swimming. I love traveling. Adventure. Uh, knowing new cultures. Uh, I love cooking as well. well what is your favorite? Uh, uh, right now... I, Do I have? Yeah. I used to love pasta in the minced meat. So it changed. So right now I think I'm loving anything to do with biryani. <laughs> yes. So I love cooking. I try out different recipes. If I've gone to a certain place, I've tasted uh, the cuisine, I come back, I try it out and see if, if it works. I'm like, yes, this is the recipe. I do it. So I love cooking. Uh, hobbies, what else? Traveling, cooking. Reading, I watch a lot of movies whenever I'm free because I'm in that space. Mm. So every day, you know, you get to learn something, and uh, by virtue of you watching, you get a different idea. If you'll have a plan of probably shooting your own thing, and be like, hey, that idea was awesome. I put it, I love writing as well. I'm a poet, I do a lot of poetry. Um, yeah. Basically, those are my hobbies. Wow. Yeah. Those are my hobbies. Quick camera, ladies and gentlemen. What would you say to your fans? All right. Um, <clears throat> who from Noya decided to follow that character, Louis? Filiana Tembea, Chayanafanya, how he impacts life. What would you tell your fans? All right. Um, to you, my lovely, awesome fans, uh, as I began, I told you, without you, I can never and will never be. What I'll tell you is, uh, when you pray, pray as if you're going to die the next minute. When you plan, plan as if you'll never see tomorrow. And my takeout for you will simply be a bee has no business trying to convince a fly that honey 
tastes better than shit. Know your value, know your worth. Don't try to prove to people you're better than. Prove to yourself you're greater than. That will be my take out. Where? Kamoja Kamujo. Kuna wale ambao wako kwa acting, kuna watu wako na goals. Ebu ongelesha those who are coming up, those who wants to be you some days to come, those who have tried and they have failed. Ongelesha wale mtu mwenye kwa hii business yetu ya media. For you, an upcoming artist, if you are a thespian, if you are a singer, if you any field of art, never give up. Always polish your skill every day, every day. What you don't know is I've been to over 400 auditions and each and every time I used to get no, I used to be rejected, but it's never deterred me to pursue my dream and my goals. I was always persistent and uh, I used to live by the code, better I be ready for that opportunity than that opportunity coming and finding myself I'm not ready to pursue that opportunity. So always sharpen your skill every day because your time is coming. Because remember, uh, when you were born, God knew your destiny for greater things. Now it's you to basically just know, you know, if you will grab this or you will let it just slip by. So keep on pushing, keep on polishing your skill. And one day, I usually say the rule of attraction. What you attract is what you get. One day, the door will open and yeah, you'll be that thing you want to be. Umeongelesha fans, umeongelesha ule upcoming, nataka utuongelesha sisi, sasa wanye tuko pale, jina zimekula. There is this celebrity syndrome, inatuingia. You want to be everywhere, unaka uwezi salimiana, you want to do things a different way. Iyo kitu mekuingia? No, 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 no. Reason being, I even feel offended if someone calls me a celebrity. I'm never a celebrity. I usually say I'm just a popular guy who happens to be known. I'm not a celebrity because I'm not yet there. Yeah. And what keeps me in check is the basic principle of I can still sit down with a four, five, six-year-old kid and listen to what they're saying. Because every day is a learning curve. That small kid will definitely say something I did not know. Because every day we learn something new. Every day. Life is a school, a classroom on its own. We learn everything. Every day we get to learn something new. So this thing of celebrity. Celebrity for who? Yeah, celebrity for who? Yeah. The day you become a celebrity, who have you impacted? What have you changed? Yeah. Who are you helping up? Now, you are worthy to call yourself a celebrity. But for me, I'm not yet there. Oof. I'm far from there. Who would you say is a celebrity in Kenya? For me, a celebrity. Uh, Eliud Kipchoge. Eliud Kipchoge. Yeah. That's a celebrity for me. I don't know for you, but that's a celebrity because the things he's doing and that man is, is very humble. Ah, that man is humble. Oof. <laughs> he's humble, more than humble, yeah? Because you see, problem is with our so-called celebrity is once the star had shown on them, they feel they are untouchable. All right, and they feel they're entitled. Oh, you're not entitled. You're not entitled. That star or that spotlight can easily dim out instantly, and people will forget about you. Yeah, and for me, you know, what really keeps me in check is the basic principle that I usually pray to God and I usually tell Him, you know. Never allow me at one point have the notion that nimefika, sijafika. So for me, I usually put myself at 0.01%. 
So automatically in my mind, it gives me the leeway that today's a new day. I'm 0.01%. I'm here to learn so that this percentage can increase. To learn, to listen, to yes. admire other people's success. Yes. To yes. Yes. Wow. That's what keeps me in check. That's what keeps me in check. Because oh. we've seen, we've seen stories, we've learned from mistakes, and I will not want to be a statistic one day. Like, ah, ule jamal kona jifanya, ule jamal kona ringa. I don't want that. Yeah. I'm here for a short period of time mm. and I want that time to be meaningful. When I exit this stage, I want people to remember me on how I made them feel. I want my kids to stand in front of people and say, my father did A, B, C, D. My father helped one two three my father impacted i don't want them to say my father was the superstar in his time i don't want that louis yeah now ghana <laughs> god bless you thank you my brother thank you thank god you. bless you kupatikana ufanye interview na sisi i know you'll pack life here a man who is so humble dressed well he has it. He's addicted to the future. So for those who have to take a U-turn in what you've been thinking, he's here. Engage him to Mongolia. For those who have endorsements, DM him. For those fans who want us to keep him. Yeah, why not? Why not? Because this is not just an interview at Nini. Why not? We just want to impact people. Why not? Any day, any day, any day, any time. It's all about for me. Um impacting the youth. The youth usually sits close to my heart. Hmm. So if I can change one soul, two souls, why not? Tutakuita tena, tutakuita tena. Tutakuita tena, tena. When you talked about Eliud, you know when Eliud is running, or those marathoners, akiwa pale mbele kuna these pace keepers, like four or five guys who are just, nyuma ya kia wangea mwa kumpita wa kujena mbwa, but they want to be behind this guy. Yes. So that means you have also a very thin circle of friends who are going to have your success, and they are here with you. Yes, yes, yes. That's what I've learned from you, bro. Thank you. Tutamalizia hapo. Of course, that I mean, I'm empty. Umemwaga maji? I want to refill it again. Oh, nice, nice. New, new chapter. Yeah, back to factory settings, bro. Oh, yes, yes, very important. You are so addicted to the future. I am, I am, I am. You know, the future is for the young. And I'm young. I'm young. I'm young. So the future is for the young. And I believe the young have the capability of taking this country on the next level. The future is for the young. So, yeah. Hmm. So, to our fans, uh, to our directors, to every person who has made this happen, and to you, we say thank you. Thank you. You've had it all from Louis from Ogana. That man who is not a celebrity, that man who is ready to go down and come up again. I'm not glasses yet to me talk up as So you wanna go and have a talk, we can fill our minds again. I'm your host, Steve Kegoni. Till next time, that was our time. God bless you. God bless our country, Kenya. Oh, yes. Offer, offer, offer. Early Christmas offer. A mouse properties limited. Tokulete ya early Christmas offer. Ya 10% discounts kwa piloti zetu za 50 by 100 to mining gardens. Mle makutano sagana. Beya piloti hizi huwa ni shilingi 1350. Lakini panyaba ya early Christmas offer. Tumeshusha behi kwa kiwango cha 10%. To mining garden ni mahali pazuri pa kufanya ujenzi wa nyumba, kufanya ukulima na pia waweza jina kulia piloti yako uyuze baadai. Kwa piloti hizi, kuna nguvu za umeme, pia zipo karibu na barabara na shule kama Kembri University. Pia, bekons za piloti hizi zi wazi kabisa. Kwa habari zaidi, tutemele kwa ofisi zetu Jewel Complex, mkabala na TRM Thika Road, orofa ya ne, room for UFO. Pia, waweza tupata kupitia, sufuri saba moja sufuri, netano, tano ne, mbili moja, au sufuri saba moja sufuri. 
Properties. Unlock your future. Invest with us.